welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making an easy crock pot chili. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned. Okay, so what you're going to need is some kind of lean meat. I have one pound of 97.3 lean ground beef that I'll be cooking up today. You can use ground chicken, you can use ground turkey as well, but today I'll be using ground beef. And I already have it in my pan getting ready to cook up. Um, you'll need some diced onions to put in with your meat. You'll need two cans of uh, 14 and a half ounce cans of uh, tomatoes. You'll need two cans of those. You'll need three cans at least of beans. I have a can of garbanzo beans. Uh, I have a can of black beans. And then I have a larger can of kidney beans. And this is a uh, 29 ounce can of kidney beans. You'll need some chili powder. And you will need eight ounces of tomato sauce. Those are the basic ingredients for this chili recipe. I will be adding to this recipe extra ingredients just for a little bit more flavor. Um, I've got some paprika here I'll be adding to it. I've got some cumin I will be adding to it. And some dried cilantro. If you have fresh cilantro, that would work as well. Probably give it a better taste. And then some salt. You could also add pepper to this if you want. And then you'll need your crock pot. This is going to cook on low for about six to eight hours. So first I'm going to brown this ground beef with the onion. Okay, so I have my burner turned on and I'm going to start browning this ground beef and I'm going to season it with some of these seasonings. This meat thing works really good if you have one of these. Bash the meat out and now I'm going to season it with my seasonings. Maybe a teaspoon of salt. Salt to taste. About a tablespoon of chili powder. Maybe a tablespoon of cilantro, the dry. Some cumin. About a taste tablespoon maybe of each of these seasonings. Paprika. I'm going to cook this meat until it's almost all the way done, and then I will add my onions. Put them in my crock pot. Okay, I have my chicken beans in. Uh, I'm going to be putting these in the crock pot. Okay, the meat still needs to cook, but now I'm going to add the onions because the meat is almost done, but there is still some red in the, in the meat. Okay, I'm going to drain the rest of my beans. Okay, this is the black beans and the garbanzo beans I'll be adding to the crock pot. Now 
Now for the middle part. I give this crock pot a stir. Okay, just turn the burner off. I'm going to show you this meat. I'm going to add a little bit more paprika. Yeah. Another uh, tablespoon of chili powder. Cilantro. And some salt. This will cook on low, in case I forgot to tell you that. Low, six to eight hours. So I'll be back in a few hours, and we'll see what this looks like. All right, so it's been about five hours, five and a half hours, and I think the chili might be done. So we're going to check this out. I think I'm going to give this a taste for you guys. Let me go get a bowl. I'll be right back. All right, I got my bowl here with some cheese on it. It's really hot. Really hot. Mmm. It's hot. But it's good. This is a... Uh, Simple, easy version of chili. You can totally doctor this up if you had a packet of chili seasoning, which I have, but I wanted to do an easier uh, recipe with not so many ingredients, maybe just stuff that you may have in your pantry, in your spice cabinet to make a expen or inexpensive chili to feed your family with a few canned goods and a pound of ground beef um, or turkey. I've made this with ground turkey before. I've made this with stew meat before. I've made this with, maybe I found two steaks in the freezer that really wasn't enough meat to go a long ways. I've cut it up into small chunks and put it in my crock pot and use that for my chili meat. Any kind of meat will work. This is really good, inexpensive, and it freezes well. So what I will do is I will put uh, a lot of this away in single serve containers. I store it in my freezer and then they become uh, lunches that I can take to work quick. I just get up in the morning, grab one out of the freezer, pop it in my lunch bag. I don't have to worry about trying to figure out what to take to work every day because I have a freezer that has a variety of things that I make, whether it be chili, soups, or casseroles. Um, this is a good one that I keep in my freezer. So 
Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you give this recipe a try. And again, if you don't want to use ground beef, you don't have to. You can use any ground meat, any beans too. I've made this with just um, pinto beans, you know, or just red and black beans. So whatever you happen to have in your cupboard, this, this recipe is very versatile. So I'm going to go eat my chili now. And until next time, I will see you back here again on Survive With What You Know. Have a great day.